What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, I have to make this video because it's getting really fucking ridiculous. I understand the magnitude of business. Trust me, if I do understand that, I've always worked. I've always been a hard worker. Um, and I understand the metrics and just different things that you want to do in a business to be successful, to thrive. But it's getting to the point where it's just a little bit egregious. And I am talking about Mayweather paydays, fights with Mayweather. Now, the reason I say it's getting fucking ridiculous, not to say, like, obviously, as a boxer, you're in it to fight, but you're also in it to create a livelihood for your family, for yourself, um, have some of the finer things in life. Some of these boxers, a lot of the boxers, come from nothing. They come from poverty, impoverished areas, and they enjoy success or they they're trying to get to that upper echelon if you will the chavez seniors and in that kind of um they want to be regarded as as a all-time great while making a living for themselves and living comfortably i get that makes i have no problem with that what i do have a problem with is people seeing the number one pound for pound dude floyd mayweather he's obviously undefeated for x amount of times and he's obviously the highest paid athlete and He's a cash cow. Just like he says, he's money, he's flashy or whatever. That's true. I mean, he generates money for whatever reason. Even in his fights that people say, oh, I don't want to see him fight Robert Guerrero, it's still pushed over a million. So even with the fight that, by y'all admission, didn't even want to see, it still did a million plus. So he generates money. I don't think that could be argued. You could say, oh, cherry picker, he's a runner, all that other dumb shit. But at the end of the day... I've never seen anyone, even the, the biggest Floyd Mayweather hater, say he doesn't put ass in the seats or he doesn't generate money. He's not making money. I've never really seen or heard anyone say that. So you get all these people coming out of the woodworks trying to fight the dude. Now, if you're in or around his immediate division, like you're at um, 140 pounds, you're at Junior Welter, or even 154, and you've been fighting at those... those um, those divisions i'd be like okay that makes a little bit more sense floyd makes 147 comfortably 154 is a bit of a stretch he's fought there three times but in all four of those fights i don't think he even really um hit anything over 154 pounds on the fight night weigh-in and to me that would make a little bit more sense keep in mind even if you are in or around those immediate divisions junior welter 154 or whatnot or welterweight you still have to prove something. You still have to build your brand, build your fan base, and make it uh, a monetary gain for Floyd to fight you. Get noticed, like Victor Ortiz did with the great classic fight against Andre Berto. Then he got his Mayweather payday. Robert Guerrero beat Berto up, and he beat Celtic Iden, put himself in a mandatory position. Canelo goes without saying. The man has a huge fan base in Mexico. Another demographic... And Mexican boxing fans are great. They support their fighters. They'll pay top dollar, have some parties, throw some carne asada on the grill, some beers, and you know what I mean, and celebrate the fight with a lot of people. So these fights make sense both business wise and um, boxing wise. Again, Canelo fan base, great performance against Austin Trout. He took the L, or he gave Austin Trout his first L. Robert Guerrero put himself in a mandatory position. Victor Ortiz looked sharp. Cotto, Miguel Cotto, avenged his first ever loss and had a three TKO win streak, fought Mayweather. These fights make sense. So that's the other side of the coin. Not only do you have to be in or around his division, you have to um, warrant a fight. Like, you have to do something, typically. Now... You got people who are not even in his division, haven't even fought in his division probably ever, if not in a while, and they're calling out this dude, and it's getting a bit, it's a tad much. Bernard Hopkins, hell of a fighter, legendary fighter. I'm a huge Bernard Hopkins fan. Um, he's defying age. He's an alien. I can't say enough good things about him. He has great performances. Um, he's given fighters their first loss, like Kelly Pavlik's. People who are way younger, he's just age-defying. He's a vampire. He's an alien. But Bernard Hopkins calling out Floyd Mayweather, like, for real, come on, man. Now, to add to that list, so 
it was Sergio Martinez who had moved up and got displaced out of the 154 pound division for whatever reason. No one wanted to fight him or whatever the situation. The fact of the fact, he moved up in weight, moved to 160, made some noise there. Fought Chavez Jr. Fought the Martin Murrays. Still calling Mayweather out. Um, then you have Bernard Hopkins. Now added to that list, you have Roy Jones Jr. who is saying he will fight Mayweather at 170 and he can't go below 170 Mayweather has to come up to 170 like come on get the fuck out of here Roy Jones Jr for those of you that don't listen or maybe just tune into my channel he was literally my favorite fighter in the 90s I liked him and Tyson but I was a huge Roy Jones Jr fan I even have the DVD somewhere let me I'll find it but it's like Roy Jones Jr's greatest hits I was I just watch it just when sometimes when I'm in a bad mood or whatever, I just watched it. I see the athleticism. I see the showboating, the showmanship. Um, Vinny, the Vinny Pazienza fight, great fight. Both fighters, you could tell Vinny Pazienza is one of those Italian guys with, with the ego, doesn't want to back down. It's just a great fight, just good stuff in that DVD. Um, but I'm realistic with myself enough to say that Roy Jones Jr., being my favorite or not, He's past his prime. It's it's. I mean, it goes without saying. I've said this time and time again. Hell of a fighter. Um, he's done monumental things in the sport of boxing. Again, at one point, he was my favorite fighter. But this is a, this is atrocious. Like to call Mayweather at 170. The dude can't even make a catch weight of 152 on fight night, and you want to call him up to 170. Like it doesn't even make sense. Um, not to mention Roy Jones Jr. is closer to like 5'10", 5'11". Floyd Mayweather is about 5'8", and he can't even make 154 comfortably you got other guys like lucas matisse i think lucas matisse versus lamont peterson who are fighting at junior welterweight at 140 and on fight night they're coming in more than mayweather has ever come in even when mayweather fought at 154 i think lucas matisse against it might have been um against lamont peterson i think it might i think it was against mike dallas jr i think the man weighed like 168 on fight night or 160 he was in the 160 same thing Alvarado versus Brandon Rios, the rematch. Both of those guys came in in more weight on fight night than Mayweather has weighed even when Mayweather moved up in weight. So it's just getting fucking 170, Roy? Like, come on, man. That just sounds crazy. And I understand some people are like, oh, yeah, it'll be good. But Roy Jones hasn't looked stellar in recent memories. And ultimately, I'd rather Roy Jones focus on training, focus on boxing. He's a hell of a commentator. I like Roy Jones still. But I, I think 170 is a bit of a stretch. And you even if you beat Mayweather at 170, I don't really give you props. You're making the man, like, stretch himself beyond reasonable limits. That's like me being a grown-ass man. I'm 6'4", 235, 240. Um, that's like me going to a middle school or or uh, picking on a freshman. I'm driving to high school like, yeah, I'm going to beat this freshman's ass. The fuck for? Like, what, like... Who's going to give me props for that? Like, yeah, you Tony the freshman? Mm, and then I'm just going to stick him and punch him and kick him. On, like, the fuck? Like, who's going to give me props out of all my friends? Who's going to give me props for going to a fucking high school or middle school and beating down a freshman? Now, I know that analogy is a little bit skewed because Mayweather is obviously top of his class in his weight division. And we don't know if this alleged freshman in my example can fight. However... My point being, you don't get props for beating down the much smaller man. And there's no guarantee that he would do it. I don't know what would happen. I just don't want to see it. And I don't know who's going to pay for that. And I don't think it's it's a fight that we should even be considering. 170, like I said, I don't see why these fighters are getting praised. The Gennady Golovkin, Sergio Martinez, Hopkins, um, and Roy Jones Jr. for calling out smaller people. Yet... There's awesome matches that can happen within their division, and those fights aren't even taking place for whatever reason. Um, it just doesn't make sense. Sergio Martinez, I would love to see him fight Gennady Golovkin, and they've been fighting at the same division. Sergio Martinez and Peter Quillen. Peter Quillen, to some people, showed vulnerabilities in the Rosado fight. Fight Peter Quillen. He's still a he's still a hundred and sixty pounder. Um, see what you could do. Um, that goes with Bernard Hopkins. Fight Kovalev. Fight Adonis Stevenson. Like, these are great fights that could happen. 
fight Andre Ward. Hopkins has went on record saying he will never fight Andre Ward for whatever reason. He has mutual respect for him or whatever. But that dude is closer to your division. And he he's similar to Mayweather in, in terms of his, his boxing IQ. So fight him. He's he's like a Mayweather in a bigger body. So challenge if you want to challenge, if it's not about just the money, cha- challenge yourself to fight like a bigger version that kind of meets the specs that you bring to the table. So as far as Roy Jones and all these Bernard Hopkins and stuff, you guys could say, oh, yeah, you're, you're just a Mayweather fan. You're a Flomo. I don't give a fuck. I'm not affected by that in, in the least. Um, I don't give a fuck what half of y'all talk about um, unless you're really talking boxing. You can call me a Flomo, whatever you want to say. That has no bearing on my life. Um, but at the end of the day, I would say this with anybody. Um, when Manny Pacquiao was doing damage in the lower weight divisions, if Kelly Pavlik or Winky Wright were to call him out like, yeah, I want to fight Pacquiao because he's a cash cow and he's, he's supposed to be the pound for pound, I'd be like, what the fuck? Wait, really, Winky Wright? Like, it doesn't matter who it is. Just because someone's a cash cow but they're in a the lower weight division, I'm not all for it. You know what I'm saying? And the, I'm far from impartial. Like, I, I'm not going to just say something like, I like Adrian Broner as a fighter, but I've recently did a video and I told you he's doing a bit much. He's doing a lot fucking unprotected he needs to focus in on boxing and stuff like that so feel whatever you want to feel about the situation but i'm consistent and that's that can't be denied i'm like michael jordan with the consistency i'm going to consistently put up these numbers i'm going to consistently give you a fair shake and i would do this for anyone nonito donaire that's like if someone from um like marcos maidan is calling out donaire i'm gonna be like come on man like why why are you gonna call out a dude much smaller than you just because he's a cash cow or has a fan base. Like, that, that's crazy, man. And I know that it's crazy for a fact because if these same fighters called out other people who weigh, um, who weigh, what's it called? If other fighters who weigh what Mayweather weighs, by and large, then you would look at them and you would, you would um, frown upon them. But since it's Mayweather, I guess... Some people want to see him lose, so they're okay with it. So these monsters, Gennady Golovkin, or these big ass punchers, or whatever the situation is, they can they can call out Mayweather, and it's all good to some of you guys who hate Mayweather. Yet if Gennady Golovkin were to call out Amir Khan, you'd be like, "No, why should Khan have to fight him? That's rude. That's rude." <laughs> like it doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? It just it really doesn't make sense. If Roy Jones, I don't see Roy Jones Jr. calling out Danny Garcia. I don't see him calling out Marcos Maidana. I mean, if he called out these fighters, I would say the same thing. So let me know what you guys think. Roy Jones Jr. calling out Floyd Mayweather. Easy work. Nah, sorry. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Roy Jones and Floyd at 170. Leave a comment. As always, hey, comment or subscribe to the next video. See you go signing off.